How to persist authentication state in your Firebase application? Today is very sunny day. Good morning, everyone. And um, we will learn how to uh, keep your users authenticated when they have logged into your application. Uh, I have another tutorial that is called Firebase React Authentication Tutorial for Beginners Private Route with Hooks. There I've built a simple application with uh, Private Route Home that is only accessible when you're logged in. Uh, login route and sign sign up yeah and uh, sign up route where you can create new users I will use this tutorial as a base so let's go to home route press login we're logged in and let's modify it so when you reload your page you're still being logged in to make it easier for you, I've created an example repo called React Firebase Auth that contains all the code from, from this video and the previous one that I've shown you. So you can clone it and uh, play with it on your machine. One note though that it has environment properties with uh, Firebase key, domain, database and blah blah blah. But it won't work because I've removed uh, the Firebase app that that uses those keys so you will have to create them yourself if you want to see how to do this you can see the previous video i will uh, link it in the description as well and first let's do a recap and see what we already have in our application so we have three routes one of them is private and two of them are public we have public routes login and sign up you can access them not being logged in and we have a private route so let's see how is it implemented. Our private route is a component that wraps a uh, real React router DOM route. And uh, we enhance the functionality by checking for current user. If we have current user in the context, then we render the component prop that we rename to route component. We pass it as a component property to our private route. So in this case, it will be our home page and then inside private route if we have the user then we render this home component and if we don't have the user then it means that we are not authenticated and we need to redirect you to login now how does the current user end up in the context this is why we have auth provider our auth provider subscribe to on auth state changed event from Firebase Auth module and uh, when we get authenticated or actually in any case when Firebase now knows if we are authenticated or not we update our current user that we propagate through the context. Thing is that this event on auth state changed will fire in two cases. First is we are authenticated and uh, we now have the user or we are not logged in and Firebase knows that we're not authenticated and it will fire event with user now so we can rely on this to actually check do we know if we are logged in to do this we can add another state that will be pending it will be tracking our pending state by default it will be true this is the state when we don't know if we are logged in and then when all uh, and then when and then when and then when auth state changed will fire we can set current user be it null or an actual user and set pending to false because now we know that we are not pending anymore we know that we are logged in or not so if we're not logged in current user will be null if we're logged in it will be an actual user information and then if we are pending if we still don't know if we are logged in we can show some loader here i just show a loading text and then every and then everything else remains uh, the same now in our update.js we wrap all our application tree in auth provider so all our pages and private route all our components will have access to this user property and this is how our private route can get the current user from the context and then decide should we show the authenticated should we show the page component the private page component or should we redirect you to login one more thing before we move on in our auth context 
we get access to app.auth. Where do we get this app? We get it from the module base, where we define our Firebase uh, settings. As, as you can see, I don't have anything saying that we should use any sort of persistence layer. This is because Firebase by default will use session to store uh, the user in it. Firebase even has an article in their documentation where they say that they use uh, session by default to persist your users. If you want, you can use another kind of authentication layer. This one is default or you can use none if you don't want to persist your user state. Uh, but here is another note. They show you how to switch from one persistence layer to another. And if you want to do this, then you should do it in the same module where you set other settings. You shouldn't do it uh, when you click login or in your private route or anywhere else. Do it where you set all other settings. Now let's go to the browser and see how it works. Uh, here you go. I'm on login route. I will try to visit the uh, root our home. I got redirected back to login. I log in. I'm now logged in and I'm on home route. Now I reload the page and for a brief fraction of a second I see loading text. And then I stay authenticated. I can sign out, reload the page. It still blinks with uh, login because it takes uh, a little bit of time for Firebase to realize if you're logged in or not. Then I log in, I'm on home route, authenticated, reload the page, and it actually fetches the user. I will leave two links in the description. One for the previous video where you can see how can you set up uh, Firebase in their console, how to set up a new Firebase application, and also I will leave all the code examples. Uh, actually, it will be an old code example, I will just update it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's uh, helpful and see you some some in some other in some other video. Bye.